Good morning, students. Welcome to Chemistry Class. Today, I am going to be discussing about uh, from the P plan elements, 16th group, 16th group. In the previous video, we know that that is uh, the general characteristics of 16th group elements. Okay. Now here we have to discussing about the physical properties of 16th group elements. Physical properties of 15th group elements. So properties when we have to discussing about the up to uh, from oxygen to polonium only. Up from oxygen to polonium only. And levermorium uh, uh, that is a uh, that is uh, radioactive or that is very very short life period. So that's why we cannot discussing about the uh, under chemical and physical properties. Okay. However, we are going, we are going to the uh, I am going to the discussing about the, the uh, physical properties of uh, 16th group elements. Physical properties of 16th group elements. So here you know that what is the 16th group, 16th group elements? Sul oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium. So in this group of elements, oxygen and sulfur. Oxygen and sulfur. These are non-metals. These are non-metals. Okay. So these are non-metals. Oxygen and sulfur. These are non-metals. Okay. And another one is uh, selenium and tellurium. Selenium and tellurium metal ions. Metal ions. Metal ions means they have both properties metals and non-metals. Metals and non-metals. And another one thing is polonium. Polonium is a radio radioactive metal. It is a metal. It is a polonium act as a metal that is radioactive element. Radioactive element. So this is typically uh, considered as a metal. Metal. So we know that that is metallic character. Metallic character increase from top to bottom. Means oxygen to polonium. The metallic nature. The metallic nature increases. Metallic nature increases. Metallic character increases. Means oxygen and sulfur non metals and selenium and tellurium these are metal ions polonium is a typically metal it is a one of the radioactive metal so if it's a half life period is 13.8 13.8 days 13.8 days okay all these elements all these elements all these elements means oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium so all these uh, elements, all these elements shows allotropy. Shows allotropy. So here yeah, shows allotropy means more than one one form. More than one form that is allotropy. So generally oxygen, oxygen forms two types of allotropes that is oxygen, di oxygen, dioxygen and ozone, O3. Ozone, O3 like this. O3 like this. And another one also, sulfur also, they form uh, uh, alpha sulfur, uh, beta sulfur, uh, like this, uh, monoclinic sulfur, like this, they, they show different allotrophic, allotrophic forms. We have to discussing in the uh, uh, particular uh, structures and uh, properties in the uh, main properties. Okay. And another thing is uh, remaining also all, totally all the group of elements in this 16th group of elements shows allotropic nature, allotropy. Allotropy means they form more than one form. They shows more than one form. Okay. And another one thing is uh, melting points and boiling points. Melting points and boiling points increases. Melting points and boiling points increases with the increasing with increasing atomic number with increasing atomic number atomic number down the group down the group. So melting and boiling points increases with the increase in atomic number in increase atomic number down the group means what is sulfur oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium so sulfur and oxygen and sulfur these are low melting and boiling points and this is have high melting and boiling points high melting and boiling points okay then the large the large difference between this is the large difference between the melting point and boiling points 
differences between the between the melting and boiling points of oxygen and sulfur oxygen and sulfur may be may be on the basis of on the basis of their atomicity their atomicity so we have to see large differences we have to see large differences oxygen and sulfur oxygen and sulfur between them between them oxygen melting and boiling points melting and boiling points we have to see a large differences a large differences over when why because on it is explained on the basis of atomicity on the basis of atomicity so oxygen oxygen exists as as diatomic molecule exists as exists as a o2 diatomic di diatomic diatomic exists as a diatomic so that is o2 that is o2 and whereas sulfur exists as a polyatomic polyatomic exists as a polyatomic polyatomic means yes a yes a so this is exists as a o2 diatomic this is exists as a polyatomic yes a so that's why that's why this shows a large differences of melting and boiling points large differences melting and boiling points so that's why we have to observe a large differences melting and boiling points between the sulfur and oxygen sulfur and oxygen and another one thing is uh, we are going to the chemical properties so this is the this is the physical properties of 16th group elements 16th group elements and now going to the chemical properties in that first one is uh, oxidation states the first one is oxidation states so 16th group elements 16th group elements shows a number of oxidation states a number of oxidation states means minus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 like this plus 6 like this so this shows a number of oxidation states a number of oxidation states like minus 2 plus 2 plus 4 and plus 6 plus 6 so the common oxidation state of the common oxidation state of in this group minus 2 common oxidation state of in this group minus 2 okay then here this group elements exhibit a number of oxygen states like minus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 like that okay the stability of here first one the stability of minus 2 oxygen state the stability stability of minus 2 oxygen state decrease decrease down the group decrease down the group stability of minus 2 oxygen state decrease down the group so that's why polonium polonium shows hardly minus 2 oxygen state minus 2 oxygen state why right? because electron activity decreases from top to bottom from top to bottom from top to bottom electron activity decreases so oxygen is a highest electron negative atom highest electron negative atom in this group and polonium is a uh, least electron negative so comparatively oxygen so that's why this is a shows hardly minus 2 oxidation state minus 2 oxidation state then another one thing is uh, uh, since electron negativity of oxygen is very high electron negativity of oxygen is oxygen is very high it shows only minus 2 oxygen state it is shows only minus 2 oxygen state so always oxygen shows in their compounds in their compounds minus 2 oxygen state minus 2 oxidation state but uh, except uh, some cases uh, when it is uh, when it is combined with the fluorine that shows uh, plus plus oxidation state why right? because the fluorine is a highly electronegative highly electronegative so that's why oxygen shows minus 2 oxygen state always except with the fluorine except with fluorine means OF2 plus 2 OF2 plus 2 so OF2 this is one of the molecule in this molecule O oxygen shows plus 2 oxygen state O2 F2 is there O2 F2 is there this is shows plus 1 oxidation number plus 1 oxidation number okay so when combining with when reacting with the, uh, fluorine that shows plus plus 2 or plus 1 oxidation states plus 2 or plus 1 oxidation state okay and another one thing is uh, another one thing is here the other elements 
the other elements of this group x beta plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation states plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation states but uh, plus 4 and plus 6 are more common oxidation states for it. this group of elements plus 4 and plus 6 are common oxidation states for this group of elements okay all other other elements plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 however in this they shows plus 4 and plus 6 very common and another one thing is uh, another one point is sulfur selenium tellurium usually usually show plus 4 oxidation state in their compounds sulfur selenium tellurium usually shows plus 4 oxidation state in their compounds with the oxygen with oxygen and plus 6 oxygen states with fluorine with fluorine so this sulfur selenium tellurium when reacting with the oxygen or when reacting or when reacting with the oxygen that shows generally plus 4 oxidation number when these are reacting with the fluorine that shows plus 6 oxygen state sulfur sulfur selenium tellurium always when combined with the oxygen that shows plus 4 oxidation state always combined with the fluorine that shows plus 6 oxidation number so some examples also you will see the in the in the structures in the structures and another one point is the stability of plus 6 oxidation state the stability of plus 6 oxidation state decrease down the group decrease down the group and the stability of plus 4 oxidation state increase down the group increase down the group so stability of plus 6 plus 6 oxygen state decrease well while going to the from top to bottom from top to bottom that is decreases and the stability of plus 4 oxygen state increases when going to the from top to bottom that is increase why because here due to the inert pair effect due to the inert pair effect so uh, due to the inert pair effect or sealing effect uh, that the uh, stability of uh, plus 4 oxidation state increases and uh, stability of plus 6 oxidation state decreases down the group down the group okay that is what is the reason due to inert pair effect due to inert pair effect okay and another one thing is generally this group of elements this group of elements when combined with the another elements then that shows generally that shows generally plus 4 and plus 6 oxygen states the bonding that shows plus 4 and plus 6 oxygen states while uh, while uh, to the formation of bond is primarily is primarily covalent nature covalent nature why because these are these are highly electro negative elements in this group also one of the highly electro negative elements why because this is next to the fluorine group of elements next to the fluorine group of elements so that's why this is the so generally covalent natures covalent natures and also and we are going to the another uh, chemical properties are there that is that is discussing in another video okay thank you watching this video